partly, I think we have to start from, the, from an understanding of what we're trying to do. And what we're trying to do is not to replicate Western institutions in the Middle East. The fact is, my European friends tell me there's nothing like the think tank community that exists in Washington in Europe. Um, and I've had a fair amount to do with Chinese think tanks. Uh, and it's just a totally different model as well. So, so I'm not talking about creating the Western model and exporting it <coughs> to the Middle East. But it seems to me that there are clearly advantages to these societies of having more thoughtful discussions about policy and there's an openness to having them. So the first thing is to be a little more strategic and not just fund things that we're immediately interested in. And that's hard because we're an impatient people, mm -hmm. we Americans. But the fact is I think th there's a lot more opportunity to help create a discussion which can expand to include the issues we care about if that's not where we start. I think we have to understand that this is about a generational process. It's about shaping people over time. So you have to find people, invest in people, continue to invest in people, invest in relationships. Foundations can do it. Think tanks can do it. Governments can do it. Uh, but it's ultimately about helping shape people in a way where, where they're going in a direction where they're engaged with, with policy ideas. I think the th third thing is, is understanding that there have to be incentives for people to behave the way you want them to behave. Uh, and I think we don't. We, we sort of, we, we often leave incentives out of the equation. Uh, I think people want money, they want recognition, they want travel, there, there are a whole bunch of things that people want. Uh, I would like to see us <clears throat> expanding a little bit beyond the usual suspects having a better eye for excellence, having a better eye for how, what people's own aspirations are and tying into them. You know, one of my concerns about the, the approach the Bush administration took to, to Middle East issues is it seemed to me that they often felt that the people in the Middle East needed to be inspired. Right? And the president tried very hard, Secretary of State tried very hard to inspire people. Um, my own take was people in the Middle East have aspirations. They just didn't see how the United States was relevant to their aspirations. And I think what we would do ourselves a service by doing is spend less time trying to inspire people and more time listening to what people's aspirations are and being relevant to them. Mm -hmm.